Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a cool little art project just pretty much using paper, string, and paint. Uh, this is actually something that I found on TikTok. I was scrolling through the feed and saw this come up and I thought this is so cool. Um, so we tried it a bunch of times and I wanna share with you some of the things that I found that you should do and that you shouldn't do to kind of perfect it. If you're interested in following me on TikTok, you can do that here. I've been having so much fun using this app and this is not sponsored or anything, um, but it just kind of makes me feel like a kid Again, just to play around and you know nothing serious so you guys should check it out um, but let's jump into the video and I will show you how to make this if you guys are new please subscribe and then don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload a new video for this project this is all the stuff that I ended up using so the most important thing is that you need paint you'll need some yarn or string you also need some water just to rinse out paint brushes and a cup to put your string and paint in obviously paint brushes uh, paper towels is always a good idea to brush off any excess water and then obviously you'll need paper you'll need some sort of notebook or book where you can squish the paper in between and you'll probably need scissors if you need to be able to cut your yarn or string and lastly i just use a garbage bag to cover my table so i don't make a mess but if you're doing this outside or something then you don't really need that to start this project we have to paint our yarn so one way that a lot of people do is they just kind of take a paintbrush and on a piece of paper you just paint the actual yarn like this which this totally works. This is a, the first way that I did it. Um, I did a multicolor, but after trial and error, I found a f much faster way to do this. So pretty much I'm just gonna dunk um, a little bit. Like, I don't even know how to explain, just like that much, let me show you. Like it's a super tiny amount. Then I'm gonna take some water and I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there. And it doesn't matter if it's like super watery and soupy, but you're just gonna mix it all around now all we're gonna do is just dunk our yarn right into it. You just wanna keep your thumb on there and then I just take my paintbrush and I just kinda swivel it all around until all of the yarn is completely saturated. Now this is gonna be way too much paint on here, so you just pinch the base of it and then pull with the other hand and you just very gently, I'm not pushing that hard, and you can kind of see like paint is coming off of it. That way you have paint on the string, but not so much that you get that weird big blob that I just showed you. So now we're gonna start just placing this like an S on here. So I can tell the yarn is damp, but like you can see it's not leaving any marks on my paper, which means it's not too saturated with paint. Um, so I'm gonna do like a little curve. Let me cover this up. Okay, and we're gonna close the book. So now all we need to do is put some pressure and pull the string. So I'm gonna move this back a little bit. So I'm just gonna place my hand on here and then I'm gonna grab the yarn and now we're just gonna pull. So it should come out fairly easy. You don't wanna to push too hard. You just wanna hold it so the book doesn't move. There we go. Okay, I'll bring this closer. And now we're gonna open this up. So see how cool this is? That looks so awesome. And you can do different colors and then you've got a replica too if you wanna like hang them up on the wall or whatever. Uh, but let me show you what happens if you use too much paint. This is one that I did and I had way too much paint so it's still the same design but it just looks like a big blob. So it's really important to not have too much paint on your yarn. So I'm gonna show you how I made this one. So again, we're taking about three, um, about three feet of yarn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it right on this paper. So I'm just gonna get some yellow and I'm just gonna paint this end. This end we're gonna leave blank because we have to be able to pull it. I um, mean, you don't wanna get it all over your hands and, or wreck your project. So leave one end blank. So there's yellow. Um, and then I'm gonna kinda do blocks, so I have five. So there's one, two, three, four, five, so yellow would probably start right about here again. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that with the rest of the colors. So there I've done purple, and now I've done blue, orange, and finally red. So now I'm gonna clear all this off, we're gonna get a new piece of paper and lie out our yarn. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my yarn that we've colored, and I'm gonna start lying this down. So again, we're just making like this S shape until you get to the end. Okay, and you can kind of like make whatever designs you want. I'm gonna loop it there at the end just for something different. Okay, let me move this back again. So I'm gonna just place my hand there and give this a tug. There we go. Okay, let me bring this a little bit closer. 
we'll open this up. So that turned out pretty cool. You can kind of see the one that I made on TikTok looks very similar, it's just a little bit thicker. So this one, I did it more narrow, so then it came out with a more narrow look to it versus like I said, this one's thicker. So, so here, here I'm gonna be, be using, using this teal string and you can see it's way thinner than yarn. So you can, can kind of see what it would look like if you use something a lot smaller. And I kind of like how it's like looping on itself. So we'll see what that looks like. So let me close this. Hand on there. So that looks cool. So that's way thinner. Here's the one with the yarn. Depending on what you're looking for, this is a little bit more like see-through almost, but there's a few options for you. Um, this is a cool little DIY that you can do if you're looking for some different uh, painting styles or artwork or anything like that. So here are some of the projects that I've done. So these are all different colors, designs. You can see how different it can be depending on if you use yarn or string, if you push a little harder versus if you push lighter. Um, so definitely try this out. You can make as many of these as you want and it's super fast to do. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to leave comments below so I know you are here. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I will talk to you later.